Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Got a question for you. Have you ever been to one of those really big mega churches? One of the really big mega churches. I mean, you probably have, right? You probably have. Here in uh, Texas, there's quite a few that you could just drive to. They're not that far away. Uh, I just recently got back from Atlanta. I visited Andy Stanley's church, North Point, out there. And uh, I gotta tell you, when I got there, I was a little underwhelmed. I really thought I was gonna be walking into this huge, massive mega church, and it really wasn't that big. It wasn't that big. I mean, it was good, it was a good size, it was comfortable, I liked it, but I was kind of surprised about how big it actually was. And some people, they're just turned off by big churches. Some people don't like the big church feel, they don't like the big church look, they think it's impersonal, or they think it's corporate, or they just, uh, they just plain don't like it, which is ironic a little bit. It's ironic because when you see the early church start in Acts chapter 2, when you see the church begin to take shape, what we notice is the church started off as a mega church, like on the very first day. Peter preaches a sermon in Acts chapter 2, and then in verse 41 it says, So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added to that day about 3,000 souls. 3,000 people. 3,000 people. So the church went from a small group that could fit in an upstairs room to 3,000 people. From 12 people to 3,000 people in one night. Now, was it because the disciples were just really hard workers? No. Was it because Peter was a great preacher? He was an eloquent speaker. No, it was totally because the power of the Holy Spirit was working through obedient people, people who were willing, people who were serving, people who were allowing themselves to be used by God. And that's it. That's the church. That's the church. I mean, we could say more. We could go on and on. I could list three points. I could have you fill in the blanks. But you know what? That's it. That is, that is the church. The power of the Holy Spirit working through obedient people. People who are willing and able to be used and to serve. That's it. That's the church. It's not anything more complicated than that. Peter gives one sermon and the church grows to 3,000 people. And even listening to that, you could be thinking, well, that would never happen today. How, how dare we say that? How dare we even think that? I mean, how dare we think the church is in decline? How dare we think the church is losing its influence or that we're losing our power because it was never our power or our influence in the first place? You know, if we're losing our footing in the world, if we're losing our voice, it's not because darkness is growing stronger. If the church is in decline, it's because too many of us are working and we're thinking and we're building our own big tower and we're trying to make a name for ourselves and we're not sitting amongst friends and pouring over these pages and then being obedient to them. Because all the church is, is the Holy Spirit working through people who are willing and obedient and who are able to serve. That's it. That's what we wanna talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. We wanna talk about the doctrine of church and what it means to be the body of Christ. Hey, we've got two opportunities for you to worship this Sunday at Walden Church. We have our 9.30 service, which is our traditional service. We have a choir and we sing hymns. And then we have our 11 o'clock service, which is our more contemporary service. We have a worship team and a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey, we wanna be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.